I'm trying to be funny because I'm trying to keep from crying. I said I wasn't going to do this. Wuv. True wuv. My bride, to begin, I love you so passionately, so fervently, so deeply, solely because of who you are. Six years ago, I met my wife and began our journey together. I have shared all the most important of memories with you, and we will share all of life's next important memories as well. This is it the moment we've been waiting for our whole lives. I knew from the time I was 15 that I was going to marry you, but I never dreamed all that we would share leading up to this day and that it would be so great. I can't think of you without praising God. Morgan, you are my soulmate, the one person who I love the way I do. You are so uniquely crafted by God, so holistically beautiful. Your love is so much more than an earthly companionship. Your love is an eternal provision gifted by God. Morgan Lynn, I will cherish you for eternity. Waiting and patience seems to have been the theme of our relationship these last 60 years, but today that ends. The Lord has been so faithful to us. Thank you for being my rock, my comfort, my protector, my biggest laughs, and my best friend. I love you, Connor. You're worth the wait. Love, your bride. Hey. <laughs> you look beautiful. Very time. nice. I like that picture. <laughs> That's when I used to have hair. <laughs> and you, you had bigger cheeks. Mm -hmm. God, I want to thank you for this moment right here, for this woman. You made exactly for me and the man that you made exactly for her. I love you more than I love you so much. Thank you, God. You know, yeah, I love you. Much. See you down there. See you down there. <laughs> What an amazing day. I'll tell you, I, I remember when you met at Super Summer and started dating, and that was a long time ago, and here we are today. And what a joy it is to be here. And, 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 and you know what? All of us have incredible confidence in this moment because we have watched what God has done in your lives. And this, this evening is, is an amazing moment for us because right before our eyes, we're witnessing a beautiful and an amazing work of God. You know, I can't help but thinking, when I saw you two in Mexico on that mission trip, and I'm standing off to the side, and I saw all these little children, they just begin to swarm you two. And it wasn't an accident. I think even then they could see the love that you had for one another and the love that you two had for the Lord Jesus Christ. I promise you that I'll continually and every single day seek God continually and humble myself before Him. That's the promise that I make to you, the one I make to you, because I can't do it. I'm not good enough. I'm not a great enough man, but I can do one thing and I'll do it. 
and I promise that to you. I take a vow seriously and you know that. And I'm doing that so that I can love you the right way with faithfulness that God can, can take and, and enrich our love like he has to this date so that I can listen to you, understand you, be your best friend, grow with you, understand how you think, do the little things. All of that is, is what follows when I just stand before him and choose you every day and make the most difficult choice to put myself aside every single day just to love you. And that's the promise I actually I want to give you. I want you to know that I, I really mean what I say. It's a promise I give you. Connor, we're finally here. The day we've been waiting six years for, God has so graciously blessed us with. All growing up, I never imagined that God would have a man such as you said to be my forever soulmate and best friend. From the very beginning, I knew you were different. I have and will continue to always admire your art for the Lord and those around you. You care for the deepest things in life, your sense of humor, and your passion for life. Today, I vowed to be your biggest fan and supporter in life's highs and especially life's lows. I vow to be your best friend in an open ear 24-7. I vow to cook you tasteful meals and at least attempt to do the dishes sometimes. I vow not to make you stay up too late and to try to get up with you before work sometimes. I vow to never stop dancing with you in the kitchen to Nat King Cole, and I vow to love you to the fullest of my ability and give you my full respect. I vow to submit to you, and I trust you to lead our family in Christ, no matter where he takes us. We're here, love. I loved you then, I love you still. I always have, and I always will. Well, Connor, I don't know if you've been anticipating this for a while, Hopefully Morgan as well. But you may now kiss your bride. Your grandpa said a short one. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Connor McAllister. So I remember the first time we met Morgan, she came over for dinner. This was after Super Summer was over. So if you didn't know, that Connor and Morgan had met at Super Summer six years ago in uh, Phil Madley and Like, I think is what it was called. Now she came to dinner and she was anxious and nervous and we all were, but it, it worked out. And just through the seasons of watching you guys, it was just evident that they were supposed to be together. I don't know what it is with the McAllister boys dating one girl six years and then getting married, it just happens. but. It was always evident, Morgan, you're exactly what Connor needs. And Connor, you're exactly what Morgan needs. Thank you to Morgan for loving him how he is, uh, taking him at his stubborn self. And obviously he always wants to do himself better, but thank you for also pushing him to be better in ways that he himself can't actually see. I've never met two people so genuine and loyal and humble together, but also touching the lives of everyone around them. And it's just a beautiful thing to see this room filled with people who I know really love you. You guys really are going to be the kind of people that will fulfill your vows. You have the inward pursuit to seek each other, but more importantly, seek the Lord first. Even today in the mirror, like, Oh, that is the universal Connor before I share a deep thought. Oh, like just guttural groan. Uh, I just want to make sure I'm good enough man for her. Oh, like Connor, she is marrying you today. <laughs> she will be walking down the altar. You're doing good. But I love that that passion's always there and that we're not going to just settle to be enough or settle to not pursue or settle to not choose love, but to constantly challenge yourself. So keep that up. Thank you, Morgan. You've 
always made me proud. You've always surprised me. Just when I think that I see what you've been able to accomplish, you accomplish more. So just know that your mother and I love y'all very much. And even though, Morgan, your account is closed, <laughs> we're still there spiritually and to give you moral support. So good luck, Connor. <laughs> I love y'all. Thank you.